There is a national aggregate supply crisis. Demand is growing, but supplies are running out. In Warwickshire, sand and gravel is needed for housing projects, commercial buildings, and low carbon infrastructure. Every county, including ours, must have its own supply. Otherwise, minerals will have to be bought in from ever further afield, increasing carbon emissions and costs for us all. Smith's Concrete is a local company with a long history of sand and gravel extraction. We have two operating sites in Warwickshire, at Wollstone Fields and at Bovenhall. Both are nearly exhausted and cannot be extended. There are very few sand and gravel reserves remaining in our region, and when choosing a site, we are led by geology. The site at Wasperton Farm, just south of Barford, is recognised by the mineral planners for its proven high quality reserves and its accessibility. Here is a little more detail from our proposal for Wasperton. The proposed quarry would be operational for 10 to 15 years and would supply over 2 million tonnes of vital aggregates, providing over a third of Warwickshire's needs. The extracted sand and gravel would be transported straight onto the A429 via a new access road and junction, so our vehicles wouldn't need to pass through neighbouring villages. As well as traffic, we understand the community's concerns about dust that might be generated. We take community safety seriously and work to stringent industry standards. Our sand and gravel quarries produce far less dust than typical hard rock quarries. That's because our aggregates go through a wet production process. Sprinklers and bowsers distribute recycled water across the site, further preventing dust generation. Wasperton would also be surrounded by four metre high green embankments to protect the view and prevent noise and dust escaping. Wasperton's sand and gravel processing plant would be carefully located behind a copse of trees and we plan to thicken the nearby hedges. The excavations themselves would be very different to those of hard rock quarries. Aggregates are found nearer to the surface, so we only need to dig three to four metres below ground level, creating far less visual disturbance and allowing restoration to happen quickly. At Smith's, we're renowned for our progressive restorations. Extraction at Wasperton would be phased across 12 zones with each zone's restoration starting as soon as materials have been removed. Over half the site would be fully restored by the time mineral extraction has finished, and most areas would be restored in just a few years. As well as quickly returning land to agricultural use, we create space for nature. A minimum 10% gain for wildlife is guaranteed on all our sites, and our plan for Wasperton is to turn land that is currently species poor into rich, biodiverse habitats. We'll retain all existing hedgerows, plant more trees, sow wildflower seeds on embankments, and create a new freshwater lagoon system to attract wildlife. We also want to make space for the local community to enjoy, and plan to add a new four kilometer bridleway around the site. Smiths have a proven track record for being good neighbors, and for working in partnership with local communities. Our promise is to return fertile land to the farmer and create a better place for wildlife and people.